Alright, so hello everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. I'm recording this video right after the previous one, because I have uh, one hour, I guess, before going out. Need to change my camping bed. Let's see, Andes, um, Sebastian, and Venice. Alright, let's play like this for a bit. Uh, we need to go to the high town, right? No. Offered and lost the hangman, right? <laughs> like, all four guys. A lot of coin for this place. That's right, pal. Tonight I'm paid and blessed. Yeah. And all I had to do was turn my head. Turn your head. To all my friends. Huh. Hey, step back. I know important people. We're gonna show this city what to do with heathen oxmen. You help kidnap Kunari. I want to meet your boss. First we fight, and then we talk. So, someone paid you to take a Kunari delegate? I made a good wage for looking away while someone tamed a hornhead. So what? They said I should watch out for sympathizers. Traitors. You want something? Take it from me and my new friends. Oh. Good coin means good friends. Come on. You seriously want to do it? Isabella joins too. Wow. Thank you. And Barry. Oh, that's so sweet. I didn't know they would actually join. But <laughs> can you imagine like all the other characters just coming in here <laughs> and helping me out? Why did you start talking? This isn't necessary, you know. What? What do you want? I just did what he said. It was more coin than I've ever cool. seen. Um, you're doing fine. Keep going. That's very good. Now just tell me yeah. who and where. Exactly. Templar. It was a Templar. I didn't get the name. A Templar. We met near the Chantry. He, he said taking these Kunari was serving the Maker. I swear, he even had the seal of the Grand Cleric. True is true. Oh, wow. Yeah, get out. A Templar. Great. A Templar. <gasps> right. Her Grace would never be involved in something like this. <laughs> Let's see. The man was a drunk. Surely you don't think Grand Cleric Elthina is funding zealots? How do we know? It's a careful chat about missing Konari. Yeah. Keep an open mind, Hawk. Elthina isn't behind this. The Grand Cleric, please. Tell her... Tell her it concerns the Konari. Sarah Hawk. Sister Patrice. Right, of course Mother she's in love. Patrice. Time has changed us both. Grand Cleric Alfina cannot grant an audience to just anyone. What do you want? <laughs> Kunari trouble and you again. Funny how you and issues with the Kunari seem to go together. And you always assume their side. I was naive when last we met. I did not want you dead, but I felt a death was necessary. That may be too fine a point for you to understand. But you must admit, you came out the better for it. Althena's seal was misused. A Templar may have misjudged an order and abused the Grand Cleric's authority. I assure you, the Templars would never embarrass the Chantry, at risk of the Knight Commander's wrath. Men were hired for the righteous task of kidnapping a Kunari delegate. A pause that says you knew. <laughs> but does her grace? The Grand Cleric trusts her stewards to enact the wishes of the Maker. You can't keep me from her. I'll speak to her grace another time. You will not always be here. Stubborn. All right, Sarah Hawk. If you won't abandon this, let me offer you something. The Templar you seek is a radical who has grown 
unreliable. Confronting him may do us all a favor. And he is what to you? He is my former bodyguard, Ser Von El. Assume what you wish, but I offer him to you as reconciliation. Meet me at this location. I invite you. Why do we listen to her? Come see the unrest these Kunari have inspired. Why do we listen to her? She is a poor conspirator. It's her game for the moment. Yeah, for a moment. Is that supposed to be Andraste's face on your crotch? What? That belt buckle thing. Is that Andraste? My father had this armor commissioned when I took my vows as a brother. I'm just not sure I'd want the maker seeing me shove his bride's head between my legs every morning. Why do I feel like this is a trap? Last nice place for a rally. Good choice, Varnell. Patrice is here somewhere. Wonderful. Oh like no, beast, what is going on the here? Fangs and it is lost. They are weak before the faithful of the Maker. The only certainty in their precious cune is death before the righteous. What are, what is he doing? Sevanel! Take a knee, faithful. The Chantry blesses us. You claim a blessing when you have used the authority of the Grand Cleric so openly? You have brought wrath down upon you. You remember Sarah Hawk? How? The I... Kunari have friends, Templar. How will you answer their allegations? I'm not I'm not touching Kunari, I swear to god. But I also don't want to kill them. What do you mean? Uh... Wow, that's um That's a horrible choice right here. You want a fight? Face someone whose weapons are not bound. Templars are cowards. They only pick on those whose lives they already hold in their hands. Will he attack me though? I don't think so. Will he? What? Are you mad? Righteous. Destroy them. Oh wow. And she is running great. I mean like all right. It's okay. I can do it on my own. This is going really wrong. Why they're like why they're so blind? Why do they listen to it? That's it. All right. Time to bring this mess to the Viscount's attention. Yeah, right. We're so, we're like we're so deep into Madness. problems right now. Madness. Yes, Excellency. Chantry involvement. Even if they are fringe elements. Oh, it could not be worse. It could. Her Grace had no knowledge of this affair. I trust she will deal with it swiftly. What do we do now? You killed them? All of them? Uh, all that were here. This group at least is crippled. Then that at least is something. Not that it matters now. We have the delegate, but... I can't return the bodies to the Canari in this state. Sarah Hawk. You know the Arishok. Oh. What should I do? Oh. Oh. Why me? Why am I involved in everything? Like, why am I always there? When something bad happens, I'm always there. And it's always up to me. It's always up to me. Can you decide? All right. Uh, a big spoiler there. Not burning the bodies will contribute towards earning the Arshok's respect if he is informed of what uh, transpired. Burning them leads to the side quest to fix her, but the Arshok knows that he recognized their true condition the minute the bodies were brought to him. Let's not hide it. Hiding this would only make it worse. It would, wouldn't it? I'm losing my sense of how to balance this nightmare. 
I appreciate your help in this matter. As bad as this is, it could have been much worse without you. Thank you. Kirkwall owes you. No. I owe you. Oh. <laughs> Sebastian, friendship plus ten. Also got level up. All that remains. Let's see. Companions. Uh, Sebastian. Yeah, let's talk to him. Mm. Then we'll move to the main plan. The Chantry. All that remains. Car in quest. How is it a car in quest? Let me see. Uh, there appears to be a small commotion in the Hoka State. Find out what's causing it. Excuse me? Right now? Wait, give me a second first. Um... I want to I want to go to the chantry, right? Yep. We need to talk to Sebastian then we'll go to our estate. Hello, Mother Patrice. Oh. What? Sarah Hawk, it is good to see you. The shame that Varnell brought his order is most unfortunate. The shame he brought Praise the Maker that you were his champion in that dark place. Stop lying. Look, we're both adults here. Can we drop the pretense? I think you'll find that I have said nothing threatening or untruthful. You and your careful language. I gave you what you wanted at considerable cost. Vonell is more manageable as a martyr. But his loss will be felt. You have avenged heretical Kunari with human blood. Surely that is good enough for you. I doubt you will let it go. Not if you keep this up. And if it isn't. Not by a long shot, Patrice. Then we are destined to have this argument again. For now, I have made no criminal claims. And even your Viscount considers this matter closed. If he is good at anything, it is doing nothing. I hope you live a long life, Sarah Hawk, because your judgment before the Maker will be harsh. <laughs> oh, don't you worry Sometimes about that. Sometimes you just know trouble is coming. <laughs> right. I'm giving it all up. I made a vow to the Chantry and it was wrong to turn my back. Sebastian, listen to yourself. You're as impulsive now as the day you turned away from us. Do you think the Maker wants another rashly spoken vow that you'll abandon when the next passion takes you? Oh, wow. I will not. This is your life, child. Don't spend it being blown about like a weather vane. But here's Hawk. Maybe you can talk some sense into him. <laughs> she seems frustrated. Is the Grand Cleric upset with you? She thinks I'm fickle, but I mean it. It was wrong for me to break my oath to the Chantry. I've turned against the Maker. And for what? Why would I want to rule Starkhaven and deal with jackals like Lady Harriman for the rest of my life? Now he doubts it. What do you want to do? Do you see yourself as a prince or a priest? That's exactly the question I've been praying for guidance about. When I think of going to Starkhaven, Calling on allies like Flora Harriman and all the corrupt, scheming nobles. My throat swells shut in horror. When I think about staying, I'm at peace. What's right for Starkhaven? You should ask what's best for your people, not just for you. I do not have hubris enough to imagine it matters to the common people who rules them. Someone will take the reins. The fields will be planted, the crops gathered. No one will notice that a veil lives and isn't there. And I can devote my life to the Maker's will on Thedas. Oh wow, it's up to me! Why is it always up to me? How? Why? I'm googling because, I mean, I would choose my humble opinion. If someone cares. I would choose the second option. Oh wow. How is the Inquisition involved? All right, I'm I'm choosing it. I'm choosing it as I wanted to. So, um... don't give up now. 
you defeated the desire demons. All of Kirkwall benefited. Of everything we've done, I'll never regret that. But I don't know. I've been praying for guidance and had nothing. I cannot return to Starkhaven and subject my people to war without a clear sign that it's the Maker's will. Excuse me. Sebastian. I think Grandfather is smiling now, seeing uh. me holding his bow. All right, first of all, Maker, Evelyn, give me strength. Evelyn, and um, then we'll probably. You should have lived into Vinter. You'd be happier there. Oh. You're probably right. There, your magic would be a mark of honor. Apprentice to the right magister, you would do well. Is there a downside? Only if you're bothered by owning a few slaves and performing the occasional blood ritual. So they all do those things? Just the ones who don't complain about how powerless and persecuted they are. I have something for you. Do you now? A shield? Oh, and born by the one true Sir Aveline. Lovely. Thank you. Have I offended? I'm sorry. I don't see where I went wrong. I had a shield. It belonged to Wesley. It was difficult to let it go, but I did so. Utility over sentiment, right? We sold it, didn't we? You're taking this a bit seriously. If you didn't think this would upset me, what was your intent? You're over Wesley, aren't you? To be nice. No, you explain yourself. It's not enough to want you to be happy. Happy is for fools. Okay. It's not the shield, is it? No, and it's not Wesley. You've got me doing a lot of things. Some I don't agree with. Some I'm surprised I do. I'm not sure where I'm going as it is. Replacing what I was with this. I mean, who is Sarah Aveline to me? Don't make it such a big deal. No respect for your namesake. Then I'll take it back. I don't care. Just use it. It's just a gift for a friend. I thought of you when I found it. Maybe that was foolish. I can appreciate that. Then accept it on those merits. Nothing more. It is... a fine shield. You do I know that Orlesian Smith slapped Sir Aveline's name on every second piece of armor. This didn't really belong to her. It does now. Well, I actually thought she would be mad at me. For some reason, every time when I'm Good gifting to you, something sir. to someone, they're like, well, why, why, why would you? <laughs> Alright, um, hold the state. Enchantment! No, Leandra. Leandra. What's wrong, uncle? There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? Why wouldn't she? I'm sure she's all right. Why are you so upset? Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Gamlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could mean? she be? What do you mean you haven't seen her? With her suitor, her? perhaps? Suitor? Leandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. No. No. White lilies. I know something about that. Don't just leave me waiting. What is it? There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before no. he takes them. He's murdered several women already. I know someone who might be able to help. Gascar Dupuis. No. You're wrong. Leandra is fine. Aveline will take care of it. Aveline will get the city guard to keep an eye out. Don't worry, Uncle. All... All right. That girl will know what to do. Maybe... Maybe Leandra took another path to my house. I could have just missed her. I'm going back to Lowtown. Yeah. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. Yeah. There's an elven woman here, Miss Eyre. Yeah? She claims 
She was sent here by you. I, uh, I didn't know where to tell her. It's not really the time. All right, what is it? Greetings, Master. Oh, you! Your home was difficult to find. I've never been out on my own before, but I found it. Many people know of you. Yeah. I hope I've made myself useful. I've already begun cleaning and I no, can cook. No. Not as good as Papa, but a little. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Are you alright? You've been through a great deal. How are you feeling? I miss Papa, the other servants. I try not to think about what happened. I even feel sorry for the Magister. Is that bad? No, it's not bad. You served her a long time. I understand. I'll serve you just as well, Master. You'll see. No, you don't need to serve me. If you're staying here, Arana, it will be as my servant. You mean, I won't be a slave anymore? You'll be paid like anyone else. I... a slave is all I've ever been, like Papa and Grandpapa before me. I'll try to be a good servant. Thank you, Master. No, don't call You're me too Master. too good to me. Don't call me Master. Oh, it looks so cool. What is this? Wow. I didn't expect it to look so... nice. Yeah, it really looks nice. Um, Fenrir, Santos... Um, rogue. Very so, uh, the gallows, no, we need low town, right? I don't think it's going to end well. Gonna lie. Wait, wait. You say you saw Leandra? Who's this guy? I told you already. I saw her. Did you see where she went? What do I get for telling you? All right. It's okay. Just, I can pay. Here's a few silver. Buy yourself some food. And new shoes. Oh, that's real silver, that is. I'm your man, through and through. Tell you everything I know. Yeah, come on. That lady was here. She looked like she was going to take the bridge to Hightown. But then a man came up to her. He stumbled and fell over right at her feet like he was dead. What? His hands were all bloody, like he'd been in a fight. The lady shook him. And I think he said, help. She got him to his feet... And he was wobbly. Uh, it, it was funny. Anyway, they left and that's all I saw. Can you describe the what man? What did the man look like? He was a man. He had hair and a nose. And nice clothes. But they were all stained from the blood. Ugh. Have to find her. It's not too late. She could still be alive. Why would anyone take her? It doesn't make sense. The man left some blood. Where he fell over. Oh, all right. You could follow it. Yeah, we will. Why don't you do what the boy says? I'm going to go home in case Leandra shows up. But... Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Let's follow it then. This blood is fresh. If we hurry, there might be a trail we can follow. Yeah, yeah, let's just follow it. Another... My game just... There's another... Um here more blood I'm on the right path Where is he taking her There I hope I'm not too late This place No Wait where Huh oh here Jesus Christ I'm blind You've been here before, haven't you? I... I have? Oh, yeah. I wonder if we'll find more than just a sack of bones this time. Mother must be here somewhere. We need to look around. Okay. Let's just there. follow. More blood. They are here somewhere. They... Oh my god, I'm actually so scared right now. Not here. I'm so afraid that there will be less like some kind of um 
Looks like someone forgot to conceal the door to his hideout. This wasn't here before. Mother must be down there. With him. Demons. Scribble note. What's this? What is this place at all? Oh, it's a woman, no? The the woman who was with the 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 guy. Mother! It's not her. It's not her. Alessa. She dead. What is this note? Use quick lime to preserve her feet. Unsure whether texture of the skin is to my liking. We'll try other methods. Make his breath. That smell. Which smell? Marin. It's a pretty name. I saw her hands. Long, slender fingers. Bare skin, the hands of a lifelong scholar. Oh, to lock my own clumsy fingers in hers again. What is it? I know this locket. It belongs to mother. Family shield, what is it doing here? Here's a bed and a book. Does he live here? Looks like it. A letter from. Oh my god! That's what I was afraid of. I'm sorry for screaming. Let me read. Where are you looking? What is this? The woman in the painting. She almost looks like mother. A shrine dedicated to a wife? A sister? I need to find her. Now! Wait, let me first read the notes. Maybe something important. Um, here is something. Today is our anniversary. Had hoped to complete my work before now, but one piece is missing. I'm so sorry, love. Please wait a little longer. I haven't forgotten my promise. When I see it, I'll know. I would know that phase anymore. What does it mean? Was he trying to bring her back to life or something? Because she died or... This is quite a collection of books. Blood magic. Necromancy. Where did he get all these? Why would he have these? What's he planning? This guy. I was wondering when you'd show up. Leandro was so sure you'd come for her. Where is she? You will never understand my purpose. Your mother was chosen because she was special. And now, she is part of something... greater. I don't want to hurt anyone. Release my mother, and we'll go. She is here. She is waiting for you. I have done the impossible. I have touched the face of the Maker and lived. What does Do that you mean? know what the strongest force in the universe is? Love. I pieced her together from memory. I found her eyes, her skin, her delicate fingers, and, at last, her face. Oh, this beautiful face. I've searched far and wide to find you again, beloved. And no force on this earth will part us.
Mother! There's nothing I can do. His magic was keeping her alive. I knew you would come. Don't move, Mother. We'll find a way to... Shh! Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. But now, I'm free. I get to see Bethany again. And your father. But you'll be here alone. I should have watched over you more closely. I should have... My little boy has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. Did you find her? I'm sorry, Uncle. She's gone. You were right about the flowers and everything. I... I can't believe she's gone. I was too late. So you're to blame. If you'd been quicker or stronger, you could have... She could be... <laughs> Why her? Why Leandra? The killer used Mother to magically reconstruct his dead wife. They had the same... face. What sort of nightmarish magic is that? Oh, Maker! Maybe the Templars are right. Lock the mages up. Throw away the key! Do you want them to lock me up too, Uncle? I... I don't know. You would have been better off if you were just normal, like Carver. Magic's always run in this family. It's a curse. Now even your mother's fallen victim to it. I wish you'd never told me what that twisted son of a bitch did to her. I wish I hadn't asked. I hope you killed him. Good. I hope it hurt. Carver needs to be told. I'll send a message to the Grey Wardens and hope it reaches him. Take care, my boy. All right, I... I guess we'll need to stop the episode. I came as soon as I heard. You know where to find me if you want to talk about it. I understand if you don't. So we'll stop the episode here um and we'll continue on the next one if you want to see more dragon age videos please consider liking this video and also subscribing on my channel that's all for today thank you for everyone who watched until the very end of this video and i hope we'll see you at the next one so um thank you for watching and bye